Hey guys, Josh here with Rima CrossFit. We're talking about our virtual workouts. We're talking about Friday's workout. We've already had one, two, three, four, all the way up until Thursday. Today, Friday, we're gonna go over some stuff for you and we're gonna probably do it together if you can. So remember, we're doing a virtual workout every day online to start and we may be doing more of those in the future. So if you can, jump on at the directed times and work out with us and all of your Rima friends. We're doing, for your warm up, 45 seconds of thread the needle, 45 seconds of a broomstick Cuban press. So you'll need some sort of broomstick object. I have a PVC pipe, a broomstick will work, a shower curtain will work. I don't know, I can't think of all the things, but there's a lot of things that work. Uh, a squat to kneel and then a broomstick setup. So we're gonna go over these really quickly. So my thread the needle is gonna look like this. I'm gonna get down into a quadruped position and I'm just gonna reach through. And then I'm gonna come back and I like to get this in here. I feel like it opens up the mid back a little bit. And then I go to the other side. The higher I keep my hips, the more that I can feel it. There's a lot of different iterations. I can go here. Again, I like hips high a little bit. I try to come through. And I'm gonna do that with a watch in front of me for 45 seconds. Okay guys? So my next piece, if you check out the whiteboard, I have a broomstick Cuban press, which is gonna look like this. I have my broomstick, my shower curtain, my lightsaber, a kid's toy, I don't know, something. So I go here, I pull it up to where my elbows are above my wrists, I rotate, and then press. Watch it from the side. So again, when I come through, I'm gonna do 45 seconds. Up, rotate, press. Try not to push up in the face like I did. Come back down, up, rotate, press. Just like that. That's gonna be my Cuban press with my thing, my implement, whatever we're gonna call it for today. My squat to kneel is a little fancy, so if 45 seconds of this is too much, I just want you to do an air squat. If, however, I feel a little fancy today, which of course we do, I get down into this position. Step, step, sit, and again, not all of these components are necessary, but we can take them down or scale them, and then I stand back to this, and then recover. That is my 45 second squat to kneel, and then my last form of component is a broomstick sit up. So, I go here, just like I'm bench pressing, and then I sit up and I go overhead. I try to keep my legs long. There's a lot of different iterations of this. Again, it's just a warm-up component, so I can have my legs bent, I can have them straight. I'm sure there's much harder iterations that much more fit people than myself can do. And then that will be your thing, implement, sit up. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to our next component. I'm already on the ground. It's a strength component and alternating on the minute. So we're going to do a push-up, uh, a pause push-up, gosh, maybe even a weighted push-up if I have like, I don't know, like a kid that can sit on my back, like something that you can put on. You can make it as difficult or as simple as we need to, an elevated push-up. There's a whole bunch of different things we'll talk about when we go over it, but it's a version of a push-up for a minute of max rep. So let's say it's a regular push-up. We'll go over this really quickly. I get into position to where my shoulders are over my wrists, Plank position, I'm down, everything touches at the same time, meaning my quads and my, sh my chest. And then when I press up, hopefully you can see that my hands, hopefully they are, my hands are pretty close to being beneath my elbows. And then I press up as one unit. That would be a regular push up. Now, I would prefer that we fight through those as best as we can instead of immediately scaling it to something where I could get a million reps. I'd rather do less, more difficult reps. Um, now, when I'm thinking of that one quick scale, I'm gonna get up into plank position all the same, squeeze your butt really tight all the way down, catch a knee, knee comes up whenever I can get it to. That's another one that I like. Let's say I'm fantastic at push-ups. Maybe I wanna get really fancy. I start to do tempo. That's pretty good. And then I go up from there. Does that make sense? Yeah, so we're gonna do that. Uh, I'm asking the camera. Does that makes sense. I don't know, I don't know. So we go with that pause push up, and then we're going to flip, flip it over into a Captain Morgan, which is going to be fancy again. This could be, let's, let's go over what it looks like in truth, right? So my Captain Morgan, I get into this position, I come up, and then I come up. I come up, and then I come up. So very challenging. Now, let's say that that doesn't work. Maybe I do a side plank. Maybe I do a side plank on my knees. Totally fine all of those iterations will work. If I'm going to do a side plank on my knees, then I'm gonna to have to switch at the 30 second mark. Same thing with the Captain Morgan. I'm looking at my clock, 30 second mark, I flip. And I'm gonna do max push-ups for a minute, max Captain Morgan for a minute, alternating for 10 minutes. 
Okay, guys, now let's go to look at our workout. Yeah. So now for our workout, I need my broomstick back because of course, we're not gonna leave thrusters out of the game. I'm gonna do 15 broomstick thrusters, 15 single leg V-ups, and then 15 shoulder taps. I'm gonna do that for 12 minutes. So let's look at a broomstick thruster. And to be honest with you, this one is more of a struggle for me than if I had a barbell. And I think it's really beneficial that we can actually work technique of this. So one thing I can't do, I can't get it to rack position because of the lack of mobility. Um, and that's something that this will give me some time to work on. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna try to drive it up. Elbows in front of the wrist, hand, feet in squat position, just outside the shoulder, squeeze everything tight. And then the bottom of the rep, top of the rep. That's one. And I come back down. That's my broomstick thruster, and that's a challenge for me to hold that in rack position. I would prefer that I had some weight to be able to do, so I think this is a good idea to make it harder for me. Now, the next position, I'm gonna do a single leg V-up. I'll tell you what, maybe, and this is not practice, this is just to see what happens. Maybe I go here and here, and I'm trying to use the broomstick as a thing. You don't have to. We could totally get rid of the broomstick. We can do the same thing without it. We can go into that position, or we can do tucks. There's a lot of different methods that we'll go over when we are on our Rima virtual also for what that could look like. And then my last piece, I'm already here. I'm gonna flip over and do a shoulder tap. Back to the plank position. Creep the shoulders way over the hands. Touch, touch, touch. And here's how I like to do this. I'm not trying to get really squirrely about how much I shift. Not that, it's, not that that's a bad thing at all. Uh, I think there's benefit to that, but it's a different thing. And to me, I feel like it's an easier thing. So I go here, and I turn everything off, and I try not to move, and I feel like that's a lot more productive. I'm gonna do that for 12 minutes. 15, broomstick thruster, 15, single leg V up, one, two, three, four, five, and then 30, shoulder tap. Now, I'm gonna go right in after I'm done. My cool down's gonna be a straddle complex. You do that until you feel like you've made change. My pants are way too tight to be able to do this, so just don't pay attention to my lack of mobility. But I'm gonna go and go here, and probably go here. I'm basically going to freestyle for no less than two minutes. And that is your Friday workout with Rima Virtual. Thanks, guys.